Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly analysis video. My name is Iran Swarp and uh, before I start I just want to point out that this is an analysis video and whatever I do and say in this video is what I would like to see happen in the market in order for me as trader to make my trading decisions. And the first pair I've got open in front of me here is the EURUSD uh, 4 hour chart. And uh, we talked about this uh, pair last time and uh, this pair is very bearish and uh, for the last uh, well couple of months now and uh, we're at this area and we talked about this uh, uh, particular pair wanting to tag the 1.28 mark first and it's now on its way to do that and um, uh, I th still think it's going to tag this area first uh, before finding some sort of support or going sideways uh, so I think uh, for me uh, this pair still is good for 40 to 50 pips uh, downwards uh, to tag this uh, uh, area we've got on here. So moving on to the next pair which is the USD Japanese Yen and this pair has been uh, very bullish uh, lately you can see on a daily chart it's been very sideways and then all of a sudden it just broke uh, up and went bullish and uh, it's an extreme uh, bullish trend uh, this means we could uh, see some sort of retracement uh, even though the uptrend is this strong um, we still want to see it retracing uh, making some swing lows before moving uh, upwards and I think we can see that happening now uh, on the 4 hour chart. I think we can see this one drop down to at least uh, these highs uh, tagging the uh, bottom Bollinger Band at least uh, on this pair. So moving on to the next pair which is the GBP USD and we had some nice trades in the students forum uh, on this particular pair, one in here and another one in here and now this pair is uh, kind of sideways not doing much um, this pair I think we can see it move continue moving sideways uh, moving up to at least this sort of level and uh, moving in this, this channel uh, channel we got uh, on here uh, between this uh, uh, minor support and resistance areas so uh, very sideways uh, for this week I think so uh, we could uh, leave this one alone so moving on to the USD Canadian dollar and this is a very messy uh, pair to trade at the moment. Uh, if I move to the daily chart, you can see as well a lot of sideways lately. Um, what I'd like to see happen on this pair though is eventually the, this pair going bearish. Uh, but uh, we don't have a clear signal of it doing it just yet. So I think we can still wait and uh, leave this pair alone. So moving on to the Euro Pound. Uh, this pair has got a nice break. Uh, which we could have traded right in here last week uh, moved down below this 21 um, a very strong bear moved down and now it's busy with the retracement uh, part um, I do think this bear could uh, still move down move to these lows or even lower than these lows at least uh, for this week so moving on to the USD Canadian uh, uh, sorry the USD Swiss franc um, this bear uh, is a lot like the Euro USD um, so I would first want to see what the USD is doing uh, but for me uh, on this pair no clear signal of what it's going to do just yet uh, so this pair also just uh, want to leave alone um, I think we could still see it move a bit sideways though uh, before moving bearish uh, ultimately uh, but like I said we don't have a clear signal f as, uh, f for that happening uh, just yet so moving on to the last pair which is the USD Australian dollar and um, this pair has been in a very nice bear trend uh, downwards and what I think we can expect from this pair is a retracement in this area uh, to at least um, this middle Bollinger Band we've got on here uh, even these highs uh, to this level but I think this pair could definitely continue its um, move uh, bearish uh, as it's doing now here I could just expect a little retracement for, for this week so those are the, those are the pairs I got on for you for this week. Uh, please remember I do explain everything in a student's forum and I'll also post some trading uh, setups there. Um, so take care and trade smart and I'll chat to you again. Cheers for now.